If you look at um, radionuclear disasters in the past, like the Fukushima disaster or the Chernobyl accident, we understand that these events involve hundreds and sometimes even thousands of victims. Some of them were really injured, exposed to high levels of radiations. Some didn't really know to what extent they were exposed to, this leading to a lot of uh, psychological fear and effects. Um, this led us to look into the possibility of using our cells as a novel medical countermeasure to counteract or mitigate the effects of high radiation. Since we cannot test this in human beings, um, we are following the FDA animal rule, which means using two animal models, usually a small animal model, and then, if successful, moving to a large animal model, testing the treatment against high-level radiation exposure. And if successful, this can be approved by the FDA or any other regulatory authority to be used as a medical countermeasure. Following approval by the FDA, we performed quite a lot of small animal studies showing remarkable results with almost 100% survival of animals exposed to high-level radiation. With these results, we received approval to continue with a large animal model, NHPs. Currently, we finished the pilot study in NHPs and we are planning to perform a pivotal study in a large animal model. And if successful, this would enable us to receive approval and FDA approval of our product R18, PLX R18, as a novel medical countermeasure against acute radiation syndrome.